Nestled in the heart of the Great Lakes region, the Midwest state of Michigan lies on the border with Canada. Home to more than 12,000 lakes and more beaches than the country's entire Atlantic coastline, it's made up of two large peninsulas and several scenic and secluded islands. While the state is defined by its wealth of waterways, much of it is coated in endless forests and wilderness. As such, there are loads of great outdoor activities to be enjoyed, with hiking, camping, and sailing all popular. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Michigan. Number 10. Taquamanon Falls State Park Centered around the wonderful waterfalls, after which it is named, Taquamanon Falls State Park lies in the north of the state, on Michigan's untouched Upper Peninsula. Mostly made up of fantastic forests and woodlands, it is set not far from the sparkling waters of Lake Superior. Meandering amidst the towering trees is the Taquamanon River, which boasts the park's two most spectacular sites, the Upper and Lower Falls. While the former spans plunges 48 feet down a steep overhang, the latter is a sensational series of small cascades that swirl around an idyllic and isolated island. Number 9. Ann Arbor Possibly the most sought-after place to live in the state is the attractive and artistic university town of Ann Arbor. Situated just 45 minutes' drive west of Detroit, it boasts everything from pretty parks and a pedestrian-friendly downtown to thriving culture and nightlife scenes. Much of town life revolves around the University of Michigan campus and its large student population. They lend the small city a very lively, yet laid-back feel, with fabulous festivals and sporting events taking place all the time. Number 8. Holland Set on the scenic shores of Lake Michigan, the small city of Holland lies on the Lower Peninsula not far from Grand Rapids. Founded by Dutch Americans, the Tulip City is a very popular place due to its unique heritage and the wealth of beautiful bulbs lining its picturesque parks and windmill-dotted gardens. The best times to visit Holland are in May, when the Tulip Time Festival takes place, and December, when it hosts a charming Christmas market. On top of its delightful downtown packed full of Dutch buildings, the city also has excellent beaches for visitors to enjoy. Number 7. Saugatuck A popular resort town, the scenic Saugatuck lies at the mouth of the Kalamazoo River, right next to Lake Michigan. Formerly a lumber town, port, and then art colony, its extensive art galleries, unusual stores, and harborfront views attract hordes of tourists every summer. Along with its twin town, Douglas, the small coastal community has a myriad of amazing waterfront restaurants, cozy B&Bs, and coffee shops for visitors to enjoy. Nearby, Oval Beach ranks among Michigan's best for its soft sand and psychedelic sunsets. Number 6. Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore on the southern shores of Lake Superior, Pictured Rocks is named after the mix of oxidized sandstone cliffs that create a mesmerizing coastline. In the summer and early fall, get out on the lake and paddle along the 42-mile National Lakeshore. 
As you make your way along the coast, admire the natural art with the variety of iron oxidization creating a wide range of colors. Being sandstone, the cliffs have also been shaped by the lake, resulting in several natural landmarks, including Miner's Castle and the popular Chapel Rock. Blanketing the top of the cliffs is a wooded forest coursing with walking and mountain biking trails. Number 5. Traverse City Located in the north of Michigan's Lower Peninsula, Traverse City lies nestled away at the end of the long, natural harbor of Grand Traverse Bay. Divided in two by the Old Mission Peninsula, the beautiful bay boasts lovely landscapes, with Lake Michigan not far away. While the city suffers a bit from urban sprawl, it is a very pleasant place to spend some time. Besides the spectacular Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, there are plenty of charming towns and wonderful wineries dotted about, with a wealth of outdoor activities on offer as well. Number 4. Grand Rapids After Detroit, Grand Rapids is the largest and liveliest city in the Mitten State. Straddling the banks of the Grand River, it has a diverse array of neighborhoods, attractions, and amenities for residents and tourists alike to enjoy. Once a historic furniture-making center, the city is now mostly known for its booming craft brewery scene. Aside from trying out its dozens of magnificent microbreweries, you can also stop by its art galleries and its museums. Heritage Hill, east of downtown, is unmissable for all its impressive architecture. Number 3. Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore Alaska aside, Michigan has the unique distinction of having the longest shoreline of any state in the U.S. A key part of this expansive coastline is the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Established in 1970 to protect the inspiring but fragile coastline, the lakeshore features 450-foot bluffs across its 35 miles. The National Lakeshore can be explored in several ways. Behind the dunes and soaring bluffs are hiking paths such as the Sleeping Bear Heritage Trail that snakes through the dense forest on its way to spectacular viewpoints. Number 2. Detroit The second largest city in the Midwest after Chicago, Detroit is a major cultural center that has long been widely fated for its contributions to art and music. After having suffered decades of neglect and decay, the D is once again buzzing as new developments and attractions breathe life into its skyscraper-dotted streets. A glut of renovations and revitalization projects has seen everything from art galleries and coffee shops to hotels and offices occupy what were once derelict buildings. Add in its wonderful Art Deco architecture, its wonderful waterfront, 
and lively theater district, and Detroit is a fabulous place to visit. Number 1. Mackinac Island There is something special about the clip-clopping of horseshoes on the historic pavement of Mackinac Island. Once a fur trading post, Mackinac Island has developed into a must-see destination while remaining car-free. On the beautiful Lake Huron, you'll have the opportunity to explore the Cape Cod of the Midwest on a horse-drawn carriage. Make your way through the Old Town, where you'll discover streets lined with Victorian-era architecture, now home to delightful cafes and romantic restaurants. To get a real feel for the island, it is worthwhile staying in one of its historic inns, cozy B&Bs, or even the glamorous Grant Hotel.